David with Blue Ribbon Landscape and Maintenance and today I'm going to show you how to check the stick edger. Um, we're going to check the gas, we're going to check the edger blade and if needed we will also change the edger blade. So first off what we're going to do is when you're working on any type of equipment you need to remove the spark plug wire so you're not going to, it won't accidentally start so we've disengaged that and then what we're going to do here is we're going to check the gas level on the machine so basically you just remove the cap check it if needed you use your fuel can and then fill it up so once it's full put the cap back on and then you're ready to go so with the edger blade basically what we have here is the blade itself and um, this one does need to be changed so what we'll go ahead and do is show you how to change it out. I'll grab my tools real quick. So what you're going to need is you're going to need the new edger blade and then you also need part that goes onto that nut and then you have a little hole right here that you'll need to stick something into to get it to release. And so again screw it off. Put the new blade on. And then tighten it up. Good and tight. All right, so there you are. You've checked the fuel on the edger and you've changed the blade on it. Now you're ready to go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start this edger um, the correct way. So, first, what we'll do is we're going to hook back our spark plug up and we'll put the cap back on. Okay, now that that's on there, next step is to make sure you have your safety glasses on and your air protection. Alright, now that we have that on, what we're going to do is you open the choke up, put some fuel into the bubble, and then you're basically just going to start it while on the ground. how you start the edger. So here David is going to show us the procedure for stick edging. So here he's starting up the edger on the ground. Make sure he has his eye protection and ear protection. He's got two hands on the equipment and you basically just get the stick edger. Make sure your wheel is on the left and you can run it all the way down the concrete. We use this on all driveways and all sidewalks. Here we're going to um, go through the proper procedures for the string trimmer. First, when you grab the trimmer, you want to check your fuel level. And you just do that by popping this cap off, checking to see if there's fuel. Um, this one's about half full, so it'd be good to top it off before starting the job, just so you know you'll have sufficient fuel. Um, and then put it back on. And then what we also would do is check your string trimmer here. The way you do that is it's got two buttons on each side. You just push those in, pull it out. And this one's got some good amount of string in it. So this one will be good to go to use. Um, put that back on there. And 
you're good to go. So that's the proper procedure to start to get the string trimmer ready to go for work. So here what we're going to do is we're going to put a new trimmer line onto the trimmer spool. Um, so what I like to do is I'll take three arm lengths of trimmer line and then basically you just one, two, three, cut it, and you grab your spool. And the key is to always start on the top because if you start on the bottom, then you're not going to be able to do the top. So start at the top and you wind it. And then you're going to, they make these little notches here and you're just going to basically click it in there so it's there. And then you grab another string. And then wind that one. Stick it in that notch, and then that's ready to be put back onto the trimmer. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start the string trimmer. First off, you want to make sure you've got your eye protection on and your ear protection in. Okay, so what you'll do is you're going to choke it, put some fuel into the carburetor, So here David is going to show us how to properly do some trimming. So we basically see our trimmer as our smallest mower and that's basically to clean everything up and give everything a uniform look. So here he's trimming alongside the sidewalk because the grass is a little bit lower. We just want to have that like a straight edge though. You also want to make sure you trim around any low spots, also around any obstacles. Here you see some steel piping. You want to make sure you don't run that over with the mower. And also trim along this bed edge where the mower can't get to it. And here he's flipping it up for a vertical trim, um, giving it a straight edge. And this is basically 90 degrees to give it a sharp edge. show you today is kind of the pre uh, safety check and walk through on the mower before you get started in the day so what we we'll first want to do is we're going to check our fuel level and basically in this tank right here you just pull off the lid here it's full so you would just put in some in there for the before each property to make sure that you're going to make it through. Next thing you're going to do that's super important is checking the oil. You're going to check that daily. It's perfectly full. Um, just kind of do a visual inspection that there's nothing. Um, so we've got a little bit of paper right here on the belt so we'd want to take that off. Just make sure everything looks good. Pine cone. Don't need that in there. Um, just make sure visually everything looks fine. So everything looks good there. I'm going to shut this back up. You want to make sure your tire pressure is good. Um, and just making sure that your mow height on your deck is right. So this is right where we want to be for now. Um, then now we'll just go ahead and get started on the mowing. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and get this mower started. There's a couple of things that you need to know. Um, when you're starting it, make sure your emergency brake is on first. And that's this lever here. And you want to make sure that your drive is all the way back. Um, otherwise it won't start. And then you're going to go ahead and 
Just make sure you got your eye protection on, your ear protection in before you start this up. And then what you're going to do first when you're first starting this up is you're going to choke it. Go ahead and start it up. So this one's already been running so we're not going to have to choke it. So now that we got it choked, we're just basically going to throttle up and we're ready to go. Whenever you're going to engage your blades, you want to make sure that your throttle's about at 50% or less. To engage the blades, basically just pull this lever up. Here we go. Go ahead and throttle full blast. did is I went around the entire perimeter with the mower and basically what that does is just helps so whenever you're making your turns you're not going to run into fences, cars, um, and anything in the way. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick a direction that I'm going to go and then I'm going to make our striping pattern within the grass. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So here David has shown us how to do striping with the mower. And he's basically just picking a far off point and getting a line as straight as possible. We want to make sure that we alternate our striping patterns every week for the health of the grass. We also want to make sure that you overlap the deck. As you can see here, his wheel is right on the edge of his other line, so he's getting a nice clean cut on the entire lawn. And here he's cutting it diagonally. You always want to make sure everything is sharp and straight. I want to go ahead and explain what I'm doing here. So I've got half the lawn mode. We have this rest to go. So when you go back, you want to make sure that you're going the right direction, so you don't have the same pattern, two of the same pattern going the same direction. So, and then what I like to do is when I get it all mowed, I go around a second time just to make sure I pick up all those little corners that I might have missed. So I'll go ahead and go do that. start the blower. First off what you want to do is you're going to check your fuel level by removing the cap, checking this one is full. So just put the cap back on and you're going to need to put your eye protection and ear protection on. And then you're going to check your open your choke. Pump the fuel in. So now what we're going to do, we've edged the property, we've trimmed the property, we've mowed the property. Now what we've got to do is clean up all of the mess off the sidewalks. If there's a big mess in the roads or on the sidewalks in the flower beds, it's best to blow that into the grass before you mow and then mow all the debris up. And so basically all we're doing is just cleaning up the grass clippings from the trimmer and edger. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Here David is going to show us the procedure for blowing. He's putting his ear protection on, his eye protection on. 
starting his blower there on the ground. And we always make sure that a property is blown off. All the debris is off the sidewalk, out of the street. And it works to blow it into the turf pretty easily. It hides it really well. So always make sure that you have a clean, clean look when you're done with each property. Really makes the customers happy. So the last thing at the end of the day, what you need to do is you're going to take the blower and blow off all of the equipment. Blow off all the grass off the mowers and just kind of get things ready for the next day. Um, keeping it clean is going to prevent fires from catching in there because leaves can get in there and they get hot and things could catch on fire. And Plus it's just nice to keep things clean and tidy for the next day. So we'll go ahead and show you how to blow off the lawnmower.